The former Cabotville Industrial Park is going back up for auction after plans for the rehabilitation of the property fell through for a second time. Dwight's News reporter Duck McLean is live in the studio with how we got here and what the city hopes comes next. Rich, this 700,000 square foot facility is spread across seven buildings all set along the Chicopee Riverfront and looms over downtown. It's supposed to be the glittering jewel of Chicopee's downtown renewal, but the road bumps continue. The property was first purchased from the city by Four Perkins LLC, which renamed the project Silver Brick Mills a couple of years ago and got all the way through the approval and finished architectural designs for the first phase of a 600 unit mixed use rental property. But execution fell short and it was sold again back in August of this year to an anonymous private developer. Despite the setback, it remains a potential centerpiece of renewal, tying the city's present to its past. You'll see that it's often referred to as sort of the catalyst uh, for everything else that we want to do. So it ties the city today uh, to its industrial roots. Um, and to lose that uh, would really feel like losing a piece of our identity. The auction is being held by RI Marketplace. Bidding opens December 5th at noon and ends December 7th at 1 p.m. The starting bid, $8 million, two and a half million less than what it sold for back in August. Wow. Is there any idea how much this would cost to finish the project? Well, actually, when Silverbrick bought it a couple of years ago, they did get a plan all the way through the approval process. That would cost $45 million for just phase one, which would have been about 280 of that 600 apartment uh, plan they had. And it'd be another $35 million to get all the way across the finish line. So certainly a big hurdle to clear. It's more than Shohei Otani, as a matter of fact. <laughs> yeah, for one Red Sox could use him. There you go. Do that instead. All right. Thanks, Duncan. Thanks, Rich.